Good morning, it is Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they unfold live. Market doesn't open up for about an hour and 20 minutes, but uh, VKTX here, quite a bit of pre-market activity. So maybe some potential at a pre-market trade. We will see, and if I uh, put any orders out there or anything, I will get the video rolling again at that time. I have an order in at 2515 here on uh, VKTX. I'll do my best to capture a fill uh, uh, live, but you know, just given it's pre-market, I'm doing emails and lots of other things, um, so no promises there. But I'll do my best. Okay, I moved the order up to 25.40, and I'm all in there at 25.40. We'll look to uh, just 500 shares, um, so not much at all. Have an order at 25.30 if it wants to give me a quick $50. Put an order up there at 2575 for another 500 shares. Okay, it gave me 100 shares at uh, 2530. So still have 400 that I need to get out. Looking like I might get some up at 2575. I'm going to go ahead. Well, I'll keep it going now. Okay, I'm on. There we go. Got those at 25. Let me just get put in 500 shares. At 25.51, and then 25 or 400 at 25.45. So still just 900 shares, not much at all. Let me go up over 26. 26.35, 26.45. All right, I will pause and keep you updated. Okay, it's moving down somewhat here. And 25.51 is where I have my first allotment of shares. And now it's slowed back down. All right, we'll pause. Okay, I'm the best. Okay, so I'm out of there at 25.51. And 200 and all out there at 2545. So all out. Um, and I think I'll probably leave that first order up there at 2645 if it wants to uh, make another move to the upside. But there's $110. Um, and let's see, the market still doesn't open for about an hour and 15 minutes. I am totally not paying attention, so I'll get it documented. I have an order at 2201, which is represented by the green line right there. So if I come back and all of a sudden I'm in the position, I just wasn't paying attention. Like I said, I'm doing YouTube comments right now and replying to those, uh, but the order does exist out there. All right, um, I am in, was not paying attention, and I'm just gonna get right out um, at 22.38, so there we go. Um, and I don't like when I'm not paying attention, I get into things, and I realize I could have gotten out higher. Um, but like I said, totally wasn't paying attention, but if anything, that just goes to show the power of charts. Um, let's see, how low did it actually go? 22 and I was at 2201 so essentially nailed the bottom right there um, I do want to get in my next order though and we'll go to 2085 on that one um, so again I will not be paying attention but because of the chart I do like 2085 as the initial entry point but yeah the market still doesn't open for 40 minutes and I'm up 295 okay I have an order at 2080 uh, market opens up in six minutes Well, never mind. I'm going to be a little extra stingy on this one. Go to 21 or 2050, 2051 here. And I'll get the video rolling again if it looks like it's going to fill me. Okay, I moved that order down to 2001. 
remember what you see on the screen I'm looking at more of so it hit darn it how low did that go went as low as 20 and all right well now I am in let's go to 1955 here for some more shares market opens up here in three minutes 1925 too. All right, so I'm out at 2015. I'm going to leave that 1955 order out there though. So if it wants to break back down through 20, then I'll be ready for it. But this, uh, I'm thinking out of the opening gates, this thing's going to be pretty dynamic. And like I said, market now opens in about two and a half minutes. I'll keep you updated, but yeah, let's see. 365, I'm up, and the market still officially has an open. All right, markets are open. 1925 is where I have my uh, current order. There's the break, there's the fill. And there's the quick $50. I'm not going to go down to 1901. And looking like it might be trying to bounce back. But yeah, this one's all over the place. 1901, my next order. All right, have an order at 2135. Okay, got those. Go up to 21.95. Okay, so got $75 there, just double checking. So again, 21.95 now with VKTX. Wants to keep on moving, need to get this alerted in the chat room. There we go. And as you saw, very, very quick mover, so 21.95 may seem a bit of ways away, but I could actually get up there sooner than later. In fact, it's starting to move right now. All right, I will pause, and if it looks like I'm gonna get filled, I'll get it rolling again. All right, um, broke through 22, I'm at 22.45. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 2285 now. As I said earlier, remember I am looking at other things that you don't see on the screen. So 2285. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Should have left it at 2245. That's why we're all uh, super rich in our hindsight accounts. There's the break. Again, 85. Okay, I'm in. Okay, let's get some over 23, uh, 23 if possible. All right, so I'm all out there for another $50. Gonna keep that order up there at 23.35. So uh, 23 is, I guess it already broke 23. But that'll be the next key overall one to keep an eye on. You know, 45 worked last time. So let's go up to 23.45 again. Um, I'm going to hold strong there at 23.45. If it can get back up to that point. All right, I will, well, we're already at 10 minutes. Kind of weird that we're, the video is at 10 minutes, but the market's only been open six, but it makes sense now that I remember we catch, caught all that pre-market um, action. So yeah, six minutes in, what am I even up? 540 bucks. But let's see if this thing wants to keep on moving. It's pulling back right now, so I have an order at 2051 to potentially go long. Let's take a look at CGC. This one's moving. 
and this one actually has shares available to short. Yeah, so let's uh, go to 50.75. I know it's pulling back a little bit, so I'll just, I won't even bother putting that order out there. I'll keep an eye on it though. All right, 23.97 might be coming into play here. I will keep an eye on it and um, do my best to capture the entry point if it looks like it's going to happen. Let it run a little bit more. There we go. Okay, I'm in. Go 24.25. Okay, I'm out at 23.85, but I'm gonna keep that order up there at 24.25. I will keep you updated. All right, going for the break at 24. Quite a bit of size there, so it's uh, the Bulls are going to have to really bring their A game to push up through there, but it looks like they have a chance. Okay, I have an order at 50.45 uh, 50, here on NTX. Not that fast down below 50, so we'll see if it can get up there. Probably going to be calling it a day soon. VKTX has really started to slow down. I mean, it's moving, but it's just, it's not nearly like it was. Um, I do have an order at 1985, so I'm willing to give this one a chance if it wants to get down here and flush down through 20, um, but I'm not going to spend much, much more time with it. I want to move on with my day, um, but like I said, I'm, I'm willing to give it an opportunity and uh, see if we can capture one more trade on the video. All right, going for the break of 20. Okay, 1985 is where my order is at. And if it does fall, I want to see it move relatively quick down there. All right, I will pause. All right, I apologize. I missed uh, the the move there. Although I do need to uh, potential. All right, an all out there for twenty five dollars. I do want to get nineteen fifty one in place. So who knows? Maybe we'll actually cap, uh, capture a couple more. I only did five cents there because well, one it went against me on uh, more than I wanted, and because this one has started to tighten down a lot more. You know, I'm not going to be going for as big of moves just because this one's not quite as volatile. But 1951, I would be interested in starting the sequence there. So let's see if it can move down to 1951. I apologize that I did miss the entry point. All right, trying to move down. Whoa, uh oh. All right. Uh, let's see. Am I great? So I'm short. I need to just get out because I did not mean to get short, but I need to stop talking and go down to 1901. If this volatility wants to continue, I accidentally, uh, I didn't get filled and then I put my sell, but that wasn't what I wanted. And then I accidentally got short, but it all worked out in my favor. 1901, next entry point. Let's see if it can move down there. All right, I am in. And I apologize that I missed that. And I'm all out for $45 more, but I need to stop talking. And let's go 1885. So what did I say? I was, uh, I'll try to capture one more trade. And what are we, about three more trades later? Again, just wanted the, the nine cent $45 because things do seem to be slowing down a bit. Uh, but if it can break down through 19, I'll go for the $50 move here. So let's see if we can get the break of 19. It's knocking on the door. Well, I guess if you like long videos and you're still watching this as we're approaching 15 minutes. All right, I will pause. And if it looks like it's gonna flush through 19, I'll get it going. Going for the break. There was the break on my end.
I'm in and out that quick. Very, very nice. Let's go to 1851. And if it wants to get down there, I'll get the video rolling. But that was, uh, I'm, I actually made 11 cents. So by the time I could scroll my cursor over to click sell, uh, it had already moved in my favor, 11 cents. So a very, very fast move. And uh, we'll see if I can get one more. All right, I'm going to wrap things up here. I have, I want to go work out and then I have a podcast here coming up that needs to be recorded. So with that being said, I, I captured a whole bunch of trades here. I, I don't know exactly how many, but oh great. Don't even start to pull back and now sucker me into wanting to get another trade. But um, if you enjoyed these videos, the easiest way to communicate that to me is say, hey Clay, I liked it. Please keep making these. Click that thumbs up button. Also look at the rest of the channel. There's a lot more than just these live trade videos. Um, so check that out, including the podcast that I referred to. That's on, uh, we release those on Mondays. Uh, but hopefully you ultimately dis decide to not only click the like button on this, but uh, subscribe to the channel as a whole. If you're interested in trading alongside me and others, a couple of times I'd mentioned, I got to get this alerted to the room. If you want to join, quote unquote, the room, just go to claytrader.com and that's called the inner circle. And the price is $99 per year, not per week, not per quarter, per year. Pull out a calculator, do the math. It literally breaks down to $1.90 per week. So a buck ninety per week. I'm sure you can sacrifice one cup of coffee. And if you can do that, then you can afford membership to that uh, service. And then finally, if you want to learn how to trade with charts and such, I do offer online video training courses on that. You can once again, just go to claytrader.com. But if nothing else, and you don't spend a dime, that's totally fine. But if you want me to keep making these, um, then just like I said, click that like button. That's the easiest way to, to communicate that to me. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you back next week. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now, and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.